Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk about this series, Sweet Home. I wanna, you know, talk about why I love it and also specifically say goodbye to the series as it's kind of ended, which we'll talk about that uh, later. But uh, really quickly, if this somehow ends up being the first time you've ever heard of Sweet Home, Generally speaking, Sweet Home is originally a uh, webtoon manhwa that was adapted into a live action show on Netflix, but uh, it is a survival horror series that follows the main protagonist, Hune. He went through a tragedy, he lost his entire family um, in a car accident, and then sometime later he ends up moving into this uh, apartment building, the green home apartment, and tries to like start like life from there but the world quickly turns into a uh, apocalyptic situation as people start turning into monsters so now they have to deal now there's monsters on the outside because people outside the building are turned into monsters as well as people inside so the survivors inside the building along with you and have to like buckle down and do what they can to fight and survive uh, the onslaught of monsters as they also have to worry about themselves becoming monsters. That's the general laid out plot for the series. Um, it's a great horror series, a lot of unexpected turns and developments because of the whole element of you don't know when someone's going to turn into a monster. There are symptoms like you have auditory and visual hallucinations but also like the first sign is your nose starts bleeding like crazy. And it becomes this ticking time of like how long before you completely give in to your monsters, some people more so than others. It's kind of a spoiler, but it happens like super early on in the series. The end, well, I was about to spoil something, and I was like, no, that's actually kind of a neat surprise for, uh, you know, you're kind of like, oh, you wouldn't expect that to be the case. But it is, I, I won't spoil what I was about to spoil. But if you know the show, you know what I was probably about to spoil. But like I said, the series is based on a webtoon. The webtoon has been done for a little while. It's like 140 chapters. And the TV show just ended with its third and final season, like maybe two or three weeks ago at the time of me recording this. So it's kind of like the perfect time to jump into the series. Whichever way you want to go, whether it's the webtoon or the TV show, I always tell people, I highly recommend you check out both. I know one might be more preferable for some people. Like if you're a fan of the webtoon, I'm sure people might prefer the webtoon over the TV show. I really like both because it's a very different experiences you get a lot of the same flavors and tastes but the tv show goes in different directions in a webtoon because i've talked about this ad nauseum but i'll talk about it again because i think it's so neat because it's one of the few examples of i have a pretty good like i i fit because i was watching the tv show at the same time i was reading the webtoon and i'm pretty sure if memory serves correctly i didn't finish the webtoon until after i'd already seen season two to its completion. The webtoon versus season one of the TV show, there's a lot of overlap. It's a pretty, for the most part, with the exception of some characterizations being different and some events happening slightly differently, for the most part, the first season of the TV show is a full adaptation of the webtoon. What I say for the most part is the ending, the season finale, like the last chunk of the TV show goes a completely different direction and that leads to the show having a second and third um, season, whereas like the webtoon, because things end differently and play out differently, that story goes up to a certain point, kind of where the TV show ends and leads into season two and three, that difference leads straight to the ending. Like those events build up until you get to the ending of the series. So that that's why like I talk about it all the time, season two and three, it's its own thing. That's why I recommend checking out both stories because it's like a different experience, you know, so, which I think is so neat. And it kind of explores some of the concepts and elements that the webtoon don't, doesn't. There's certain things introduced late in that webtoon that the TV show goes a little further with, but I, I don't want to go into specifics. But yeah, there are different characters and different things. So it's not, like I said, it's, it's, it's I practically treat them like two very different experiences in a lot of ways. Like I said, season one of the TV show, if you've read the webtoon, there'll be overlap, but it's still different enough that uh, because there are ch there are small changes, like I said, characterizations, but there's also big differences too, where you're like, oh, that, you know, once again, I only know this in retrospect of like, oh, like certain things play out so differently in the TV show than they did the webtoon. But it's just, in general, like whether it's the TV show, whether it's the webtoon, I recommend you check out this story in general because it's such a great story because you're just like, it's, it's, a, it's a survival horror series. You're like, who's gonna make it, who's not? How do you how do you fight how do you deal with a situation where anyone can become a monster at any point in time and the monsters i don't talk about this a lot but the monsters are like super hard to kill like they have regenerative abilities it seems like you learn like some of their weaknesses but even then it's like 
how you deal with each monster isn't exactly I mean there's overlap sure there's like one way that kind of really definitively helps but it's like it's still like how do you challenge these different monsters which have their own power sets and stuff like that their own abilities like a lot of the monsters are really unique in that capacity it is a series that will keep you on edge like i said because you just never know how things are going to play out where the story is going to go and how it will develop because I, I feel like with some of the choices that this story makes you I think for the better you'll just be like oh I wouldn't have expected that like there's like the spoiler thing I was going to about I feel like that's something that would happen at the end of the series not like smack dab at the beginning it's like a super early event thing that happens I'm like oh you typically wouldn't think that happened but that, I mean maybe the argument could be like there's other stories that do a similar thing I'm sure there are and I'm probably just not thinking of any off the top of my head but it's one of the few it's the only series I could think of right now that kind of introduces like oh this thing happens and it you wouldn't expect it to happen until maybe near the end but still and because of that survival horror element to it you always have to be careful that you got you're attached to these characters and you never know when they're going to get it and at what point in time and some some you know it, it's a bloody and gory series whether it is the webtoon or whether it's the live action i mean there, there's a lot i feel like the the live action isn't as gory in retrospect now i'm trying to think about it it can be as bloody, but I don't think it's as gory as, like... I mean, even in, like, I don't think the webtoon leans heavy... I mean, it leans into the, the gore of itself, but it, like, it doesn't linger on it. It's just kind of like a... The gore happens, and it's usually, like, a shocking thing of, like, oh! Like, it kind of takes you back, but, like, it's not like they linger in it. It is meant to, like, gut punch you just how brutal it is, because these are just, like, regular human people fighting monsters, and things can, like... People get ripped apart in this type of series in, 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 in figurative and literal uh, terms. So it's just, like I said, it's, it's a great series to check out. It, I mean, if you watch, like I said, the webtoon's 140 chapters. The TV show is only like, what, 26 episodes in total. The first season's 10 episodes. The second season, the second and third seasons are both eight episodes each. So it's not like it's the largest commitment. Once again, you can check out either one, but I would highly recommend checking out both. I know it sounds like such a commitment, but I, I personally think it's worth it. But it, do whatever you want to. Like, you know, I'm not going to fight somebody. If you feel like it's easier just to read the webtoon to watch the TV show, maybe if you read the webtoon, you'll be interested to watch the TV show. Or maybe you watch the TV show, like the TV show, you're like, okay, interested to check out uh, the webtoon and see the differences. So, you know, I, I would just highly recommend both but at the end of the day it's your choice which one you decide to check out but that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about in this video to the next time we meet be happy be safe live life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and good